Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So let's start with our Bitcoin TA because currently Bitcoin is looking like that is gearing up for another move to the upside. So currently we have seen this big dump here to the bottom here of $11,100 where also we had a buy signal down here in the one hour. But it looks like that Bitcoin is already struggling here to get through the 20 moving average here in the one hour time frame. So I think as soon as we're going to have a one hour close above here the 20 moving average, so above 11,380, we should expect a possible bounce here towards one of these moving averages, especially this one here at 11,700, maybe even go up here to retest the previous support, which right now should be acting as a resistance. And this price level is right here at 11,800 dollar so if we are seeing here a possible short-lived bounce this is my target that i have since i opened up a small long position right now i still think it is very likely that we will drop towards our bearish targets of 10,500, maybe down even to 9k to also close the cme gap that we have down there at 9,700 dollar but on the way to this price target, I think we will see often bounces here to the upside because overall we are still in an uptrend. And even if we retrace back down to these levels here towards 9,600 to 9,700, we will remain bullish and we will remain on our way towards new all time highs. As long as we're keeping up here with the old resistance, which now is the new support. And also you can see that currently we are, are having here this small future gap down to $11,300 here on the CMEs, which in the spot market would be at around $11,100. So even though it looks like that we're going to have a bounce here to the upside, be prepared for more sell-offs because also this gap here that we created and that we have right now in the one hour and four hour time frame most likely will get filled potentially after this bounce that we are seeing currently. So here in the one hour, it looks like that we're gearing up for a possible move. And also if you have a long position open, then make sure to use stop losses or swap over into a short as soon as it looks like that we're getting rejected, maybe somewhere up here, because it can go very fast. And that's why if you're not on the computer, just put the stop loss. So at least your profits will get be locked in and uh, also the RSI is coming up here towards the 50 level so let's see if we are able to push through here or if we are getting rejected from the 50 level in the RSI prepare for another move to the downside it is also possible that here we're going to create a W formation who knows currently we are still fighting here with the 20 moving average and if we swap over into the Bollinger Band you can see that currently we're trading again in the upper area and also we have the stochastic and MACD shifted to the upside so the one hour is looking like that we're gearing up for a possible retest of this $11,700 to $11,800 but the top here of the Bollinger Band is right at $11,430. It is possible that first we're going down again here towards $11,100 maybe create a double bottom or something like this and then bounce again to the upside so be prepared for both scenarios but the one hour currently is looking quite bullish and even if we switch over into the four hour you can see that currently we dropped below the 200 moving average currently we're still fighting it and it looks like that we want to push through here and possibly test the 20 or 50 moving average here which are now above of us we don't have currently a buy signal here in the four hour but it looks like that we're gonna have it in the next couple of hours and this could lead into a major push here towards eleven thousand eight hundred dollar if we are able to push through and start again to trade here above eleven thousand eight hundred dollar and create a support above it potentially even above eleven thousand nine hundred fifty then i think we could be in here for another retest of the main resistance which currently is almost here thirteen thousand dollar which is still in the cards but as it is right now this looks for me just as a little bounce to maybe retest this eleven thousand eight hundred dollar and then continue the sell-off because we didn't met yet our bearish target since we had this uh, breakout now to the downside from this big rising wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days 
and weeks. Also, you see that the RSI now is bouncing after being oversold. We still have some room left to the upside here to retest the 50 in the RSI. So also that's why I think it is very likely that we're gonna test here these uh, moving averages. Also here in the 20 moving average in the four hour, you can see that the price is at 11,540. This is our old support, which right now could also be acting as a resistance. So watch out for these price levels in case that you want to open up a short position or if you want to open up a long position. But since now we had this little sell off here, I think we're gonna have here some more pushes to the upside. And also it looks like that we have a lot of room left to the upside. So till we're gonna open up a new short position, I think we're gonna have to give it a couple of hours and days. But right now I would consider to look for a long entry and not a short. And now we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the four hour because currently we are fighting with the first moving average. If we are able to break through here and close a four hour above, then be prepared to retest here this $11,600 and hopefully also break it to the upside because this would lead into a big pump towards the top here of around $11,900. But currently we're still struggling to break through here. So watch out for those levels. We have stochastic now shifted to the upside. MACD is looking like we could have a bullish cross here if in the next couple of hours we will remain here on this $11,400 to $11,300 area and not crash again below. And if we open up the daily time frame here, you can see that this doesn't look too bullish to me, even though we could be in here for a possible 20 daily moving average retest here at 11,550. If today we are not able to close above 11,550, then be prepared to go down here towards the $10,500 area. We also had a sell signal here currently, it is still on the play. Also the RSI is right at the 50 level, so we are in a very critical point. If we are able to close today above 11,550, this could lead into some continuation on, of this pump. But if we're getting rejected here, or if we are not able to close a daily candle above this moving average, then be prepared for the continuation of this sell-off towards our target here for around 9,600. First, potentially a bounce at 10,500, but at the end, most likely we're gonna end up down here at 9,600. And of course, before I then gonna start to scale in longs and buy everything back into Bitcoin, what I took out in profits up here, I gonna wait here for a clear buy signal in the daily as well, because as soon as we're gonna have a buy signal and we're gonna close the CME gap that we have down below here, I think we are good for the races again to retest this 14, 16 and potentially 20K very, very soon. And we can also have a look into the Bollinger Band in the daily because yesterday we closed right at the bottom of the Bollinger Band after overshooting it to the downside. And currently we're seeing a bounce from it potentially to retest here the middle line at around 11,660 to 11,750. If this is now the new resistance, then be prepared for continuation to the downside. We have the MACD still shifted to the downside, which is bearish. Stochastic is flat. So here we could see a potential bounce to the upside also to retest here the resistance only if we're really able to close a daily candle above 11,750 then I think it is very likely that we're going here towards $12,100 again but as long as we're trading here in the lower part we are clearly shifted to the downside and we should consider always to look for shorts when we are in a downtrend so even though you're taking now a long position just for this little bounce that we're seeing right now be prepared to take out profits or to put a stop loss don't go underwater with your long especially if you are in profits right now if you're buying the dip or if you're longing the dip right now make sure to lock in always some profits and if we go over to the weekly time frame here, you can see that we clearly initiated here the correction towards our 20 weekly moving average, which currently is at 10K. Also the RSI is cooling off a bit, which is very healthy. And also if you're coming down here to the 50 level and bounce from it, then we should be good to go to the upside and we will have a lot of room left to the upside. And this could be really the last opportunity to buy cheap Bitcoin. If you don't want to wait till we're gonna reach this area, you can already start now to DCA down to these price levels or also scale in long position down to these levels if you don't go with high leverage in. So if you do a 0x, 5x or 10x, you should be able to manage your trade if you think that we could go down to these levels and then bounce from it and you don't want to wait to open up longs if you already want to go in with a long position right now for the long term, maybe already now is not a bad idea to start to scale in, but I definitely would wait till we're gonna reach these levels down here if you plan to make a big trade. 
And now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the weekly because here I'm still expecting a bigger correction down towards 10,500 to $9,600 so towards here these two moving averages between here is where I'm gonna go all in again into Bitcoin and also into some altcoin. The thing is that currently we just started here this correction so on the way down here it's possible that we're gonna have some bounces here to the upside but at the end I think we're gonna retrace back down here before we're really taking off here with the price. And also you can see that the MACD still shifted to the upside, so the MACD still looking good. Stochastic had a bearish cross, so this is now in play, and I think as long as we are shifted to the downside now, we should expect these prices to come very soon. So take it as an opportunity to buy in and scale in your longs or buy orders, because this could be really the last time that you find Bitcoin so cheap and don't panic sell at these stages if you took out a little bit of profits out there once we touched here this 12k area then it's okay keep it and rebuy back into crypto once we're gonna reach these levels but just panic sell because right now we're coming down this is not a good idea and also for the long term you will not be doing fine if you always do like that so you should consider to take profits once we're going really FOMO and uh, rebuy cheaper in when there is blood on the streets. If you keep up with this strategy, you should be doing fine in the future. But if you're always going to panic sell once, we're going to see a little bit of drops, which are normal, especially in the crypto space, then you will not be doing it fine in the long term. So make sure that you always do like this when you want to take out profits. Always when everyone is going FOMO, take a little bit of profits out. If you think that you find a better investment or if you can buy cheap in later, but just selling because everything is coming down, this is never a good idea. All right, guys, and with that said, they're gonna wrap it up for now. If you want to trade with leverage like you can do on Bybit, for example, then make sure to use the links that you find down below here in the video description. With my links, currently, you can get a lot of bonus on those exchanges that I recommend you, especially Bybit, Femex, and Bityard. Down below with the links, you can get up to $538 in bonus. So you can trade with that money completely riskless. So definitely go and check it out if you also want to trade with longs and shorts. And if you need help with trading or if you want to join our trading chat, then make sure to install Discord and join our free Discord trading chat. You find also the link down below here. And of course, I'm doing often the live streams over on Twitch. So also subscribe on Twitch if you have Twitch. Also, of course, you support the channel if you use my link. So very much appreciated. Down below, you find also some other links. How, for example, to buy a Nano Ledger X or S if you want to store your cryptos in hardware wallets and also links to coinbase where you can instantly get some altcoins for free so definitely go and check those links down below because some of them i'm sure you can use it so if you like the content please moon up the like subscribe to the channel tick the little bell and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye <laughs>